Hey folks, today is February the 6th. We're gonna look at doing our intro video for the next service I'm gonna look at testing. And as you can see here, the name of it is Copy Vic, and it is a trade copier service. I did go ahead and get the uh, review page set up. So we'll go ahead and take a quick peek at that so you can see exactly uh, what I'm gonna be set up with for this test. All right, let's see what we got here. I haven't personally used or reviewed many trade copier services, but I've known Vic for some time and I've seen his trading results. So I feel confident testing his service with a $1,000 live account. And we will be uh, taking a look at that momentarily so that you guys can see that. And this is the same uh, Victor that's uh, that you guys have seen comment on uh, some of the past videos for Promax and, and the like. All right, I've listed a few facts about the Copy Vic Trade Copier Service below, along with the MyFX book widgets. And as you guys can see down here, uh, we did just, I just got everything set up uh, the end of last week. So not much has happened. And let's see here, obviously there's a link right there. But before we jump into the uh, VPS and actually take a look at my account setup, let's come over here to the website. I want you guys to see what uh, what this is all about here. All right, so as we can see here, by copying my trades, not only will you be able to achieve anywhere from 10 to 40% profit each month while keeping drawdown under 5%, but it's very possible you'll be able to pay for your $50 monthly subs uh, subscription fee in a single trade day. I created this hands-free service because trading on the foreign exchange successfully is extremely difficult, never mind finding something dependable you can rely on, but, pri but primarily I did it to help out my close friends and family. All right, so that's kind of the uh, background on why he got this started. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of these important notes before we jump into uh, the set and forget signals here. All right, one of the big important things here, obviously it does not use Martingale strategy. All right, your account balance must be at least $1,000. So that is kind of the minimum. And as you guys saw here, the minimum is what I started my account with. So we'll be able to see how it does with that. All right, your leverage must be between uh, 1 to 100 to 1 to 500. He also recommends you don't touch any of your live trades. Just trust the process. As always, draw down as normal. Just be patient. All right, he recommends using the uh, LMFX Zero account. And I do have some uh, words that I'm going to speak about that after we jump into the VPS here. All right, use a fixed lot size for your risk setting. And if we come back over here, we should see that... My fixed lot size on the $1,000 account is 0 0.03, which is a 3% risk. And let's see here. When copying my trades, if I'm making money or you're not, the problem is your broker. So definitely, uh, it would be a good idea to use uh, the broker that he recommends, LMFX, and just uh, sign up for the zero account so that we can all make sure we get the uh, same trades that Vic is getting in his account. All right, there is a Telegram group, and I will say he's uh, very good at uh, answering questions and responding, so that's definitely a big plus. And of course, if you're unsure about the service, please continue to visit this page, and you can view the copier down here. And I also have, as I stated, my uh, live account set up down here. Make sure that was everything I want to touch on here. He also recommends that you not use this to pass or attempt to pass the uh, prop firm account challenges. And you can see here he says, I trade news, I hedge, and I hold trades over the weekend. So that's definitely something you wanna keep in mind. So do not try to use this service to pass the prop firm challenge. All right, let's go ahead now and see how things have started off. All right, as we can see here, where's the balance at? This was started with $50,000. And as you can see over the past, I think he just started this service, what is this, the 31st? Let me go back here. All right, so it's only been running for one week, so it looks like that first week he earned 1.59%, very nice indeed. And we can also see the trades that he was able to, excuse me, the currency pairs he was uh, taking trades on as well, as we can see the trade history here. So this is definitely something, if you're interested, you should uh, try and check out. There is a link right here, or you can just visit copyvic.com. All right, let's go ahead now, come back over here. We'll just click on this so you guys can see that everything is set up properly. And here we are here. Like I said, I've only been trading for a few days, but we can scroll down and you can see the history here. You can see the deposit was on February 2nd right there. So that was what, Wednesday of last week. 
And we actually got it started uh, taking trades on February 4th. And I believe that was Friday. Yep. So like I said, we've only been trading uh, one day here. So not very long at all. And in that one day, we earned 0.66%. As you can see here, account balance is now at $1,013. One thing you will notice about my MyFX book is that it says this account uses a custom start date for full history analysis. Use the custom analysis tool. One of the things I tried to do was contact LMFX to see if they could uh, reactivate my, I guess, live zero account. But they had told me that I had one from like 2017 or something like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right. So we're in the VPS right now. We're in LMFX. And as you can see, this is the date that I funded the account. You can see $991 right there. And let's come here and show custom period. And actually, I thought there was something that showed all here. It is all history. OK. Now, what you're going to see here is stuff from 2016, 2017. Here it is 2016. So this is a very, very old account. 2017. And they actually told me that I could not create a new zero account. You know what I mean? I went back and forth with them, but they would not uh, switch over the zero account from this old account over to a new account that I had opened and started with them. So instead of uh, going back and forth with them and dealing with that headache, I ended up having to, where is it at here? Come here and set this up so that it starts on the 1st of December. So that's why that is there. I want to make sure I address that, but let's go ahead and get this back to the way it should be here 2022 and this will be two all right so 2 1 2022 and there we can see this account did have 10 or 15 bucks still in it so that's why it uh bumped it up a little bit it got me right over the a thousand dollar mark and as we can see here the account balance is now at one thousand and thirteen dollars so we are just getting started and this is a trade copier so you're not gonna you know see anything as far as the ea or anything like that something most i can mention here is that uh when you actually get logged in you're gonna click sign up and then click log in when you do get into the back office it was very easy you know what i mean to get everything connected now that I think about it, let me double check something real quick. I want to make sure I put the fee on here. All right, so yeah, the service does cost $50 per month. And now that I'm looking, I need to add that here. All right, yeah, so I'll uh, look at adding this after I get done with this video so you guys can actually see on the review page how much the service actually costs. And you can also see that right there, $50 monthly subscription fee, which I uh, mentioned a little bit earlier. All right. So, yeah, that's why we see that right there. We do have a very good start, obviously, 0.66 percent in uh, the first day of trading. And we've already taken a look here at the VPS. You can see that everything is set up. There's a MyFX book link and we do have one trade open. That's still from uh, Friday here. All right. So, yeah, we'll be doing our weekly update reviews for this service. I'll probably uh, do this one every Friday. Uh, as well, maybe I'll do uh, Pro Max on Saturday and have the two live accounts uh, put those weekly update reviews out on Friday. Uh, last thing I want to show you guys is the Telegram. All right, so as I showed you here, where is it at here? Join my Telegram channel for announcements. So that is this right here, and as you guys can see. He gives you basically uh, updates here. We ended the week strong with 18 wins, five losses. And then if you uh, scroll up, once you actually get in, you'll be able to see a lot of the information uh, that he gives. All right. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions whatsoever on the Copy Vic service, you can send those to me and I'll try to get the answer for you. Or you can uh, ask in the comment section of this video. And I know Vic... Uh, does tend to answer questions there so definitely he most likely will with uh, his service as well so with that being said there's no uh, special link that you guys need to click on if you want to you can just visit uh where is it at here copyvic.com and that's going to take you to this page where you can get the information 
And, uh, yeah, you can just go with it from there. Hopefully uh, our first week of testing will go well for us, and we'll just have to be patient and see how everything goes. All right, folks, that is going to be it. I will see you on Friday, the 11th of February, for our first weekly update review for the uh, CopyVix service. All right, take care, folks. Hope you had a great weekend.